Hey guys, how's it going? Zombie here with Xenar Gaming. Today we're looking at Destiny 2. We have our weekly reset, guys. It is January the 30th, so we have to get our K6 chest. Now, I'm going to try to do this in two fast travels and see about how it works out. The first one we will get uh, here. Both times will be at Washer's Grave. We'll get this one here, and then we'll get this one here. Uh, this one will take us a minute to get. Then I'll fast travel back, and we'll just work our way around. Okay, so first one... Watch, watch his grave, watch his sparrows, and we're going to do a 180 by the time we come out of here. Hopefully you won't get stuck like I did. And we're just going to work our way around the road. Now once you get to this big open area on this curve, you're going to go up to where this guy is, and you'll see it right there. Alright, so that'll give us our first one. Now, as soon as we get that, what we're going to want to do... The House of Exile banner, an interesting. Get K6 uh, piece to turn in. Now we are going to come straight down here. Now normally I would stick around and uh, assist with the public event, especially because the flashpoint is here. But we're just going to head to the left of that area and we're going to continue down. Guys, so we're just going to continue our way around. And once you get here, you will see that it is there to the side. Now, of course, as much fun as that seems to do that, and it's, the temptation honestly is there, guys, to actually try that. But, uh, nah, I know it will not go well. So we're just going to run across. I will admit this shorter charge aspect was making it difficult. Jump up and I have a bunch of enemies. I want to shoot them. But here it is, area number two. There's our second K6 chest. Took around two minutes to get both. Oh, we have an exotic a mod and uh, a couple pieces of armor that we can now turn in. Now we're going to go back to Watcher's Grave. I'm going to work our way around the rest of them. All right, guys, once you get back to Watcher's Grave, we're going to go ahead and go for the three I pointed out a minute ago we are going to put our spur and we're going to take off now the first one that we're going to see is going to be right in this tree ahead of us it's going to be in the same tree that Zer is going to show up just on the opposite end and you can go ahead and see that glow now there's a couple of different ways to jump up um, the easiest way would be to go under the branch come onto this little rock here and then jump up here so that'll give us number one, well, one of these three, so I guess number three out of the five total. We're going to go ahead and hop down and pull out again our sparrow and take off. Okay guys, as soon as you get in this area, what you're going to want to do is come down. Um, and you're going to continue until you see the big red opening on the right, which should be right here. Yes, there it is. We're going to go into this opening here. Oops. I'm going to continue down. When you get to this blue light, we're going to take a right into this little cave. Once the load screen, there it is. And there. Uh, give us number four out of five and we only have one more to go now I was slightly disappointed to get that but you would definitely not hear me complain considering that I did just get an exotic so yep no complaints here happy with it one more to go and for that we're going to go and hop back on here and we are going to brave through the dangerous dangerous yeah, yeah I know it's funny but we're going to brave through these guys and we are going to try to stay straight in the direction that we need to go. I think I may have gotten turned around. I'm very sorry I got way turned around guys. Let's go ahead and make this the easy way. I 
that's what happens when you record live guys you do make some mistakes so I think I should be following this road here to the right now yes it should so yep small mistake sorry about that so what you would have done when you got up to the top like I did you should have just did a 180 going to make our way this way ah and here we go once you see this red uh, little boost here you'll come down and it is here inside the Vex mill so you're going to be quick when you grab this one jump down and grab it and jump right back out and that'll be the fifth and final k6 chest for this week if you like what you see in the video guys uh, please like subscribe and comment below it really helps out the video in the description you will also find a link to uh, a glean giveaway that i'm currently giving uh, this for a ten dollar gift card for either the xbox one or the playstation store uh place yes playstation store the xbox store and uh give them away this week it will be uh friday will be the end of this giveaway and then i will start another one later on friday i will contact the winners um or the winner and allow them to pick which one they want so you don't have to worry about winning one that you do not have for your console so again guys that's it appreciate you for watching it this much and this far and we'll see you in the next video